Hey, what's up guys? Spring is finally around the corner and I'm in Detroit, Michigan right now. So we've been in a deep freeze for the past five months and I've been super pumped to make this video about the way I'm gonna keep all my stuff charged when I'm away from electricity. Since you can't plug into a tree, I already tried that, you can actually use the sun to power your devices, but you need to have something that can receive the sun's energy and convert that into electricity. This is where the Sunny Bag Power Tab comes into play. It has a built-in 6,000 milliamp battery and it outputs to 2.4 amps. This was sent to me by Group Gets. Group Gets lets you group buy products for a cheaper price. Users can also launch their own group buys for products too. This is $70, but if more people get in on this, we can actually get it for 50 bucks, which is the cheapest way to get it in the US. Hey guys, check out Group Gets down below because there's actually a lot of things they have on the site right now that you can get on and buy for pretty cheap. Anyways guys, let's talk about the Sunny Tab. Tech that you're gonna break the mold, brand state control, scope squad and the case is closed. Real talk with a hell of a brand, every word is unfilled and genuine dread. As I mentioned in the intro, this is the Sunny Bag Power Tab. It is said to use the most effective solar panels available. It also has a 2.4 amp out, so it can charge watches, phones, and tablets pretty easily. It also uses 18650 battery cells, which is the same cells as the Tesla Model S uses. The tab itself is pretty cool, starting at the front. On the top left, it has this eyelet, and then we'll see our solar panel 5 watt with 22.5 supercell capabilities. On the back, we see our LED lights, adjustable stand that doubles as a hook, a micro USB input so you can charge it when you're away from the sun, and also that 2.4 USB output I just mentioned. And we also have the power button too that can turn on the unit. It turns on the LED so you can see how much battery is left, and it doubles as the power button for the flashlight on the back. Now the thumbprint of this thing isn't that big at all. It's about eight and a half inches long and six and a half inches tall. It's also splash proof as well with a rating of IPX5, meaning it can deal with a little bit of rain, but nothing too crazy though. Now I took this unit out for a couple days when I was shooting some video and I tested the unit out. Now mind you, I live in Michigan and right now it's still in the winter, so the sun isn't really that plenty. I was able to charge my S7 in about an hour and 45 minutes, which isn't horrible at all, since it's just harnessing the power of the sun. It can also charge something smaller, like a watch, in about 20 minutes, and it can also charge a GoPro battery, or in my case, my camera battery, in less than an hour as well. So you may ask the question, who is this for? Well, if you're big into camping or you're someone who just likes to have their stuff juiced up, especially when they're away from electricity, well, this thing is perfect. It's not that big. You can fold it up, put it on the back of your backpack or put it on the dash of your car and keep everything powered up. And guys, as I said before, you can get this for the cheapest price possible using the group gets link down below. Anyways, guys, this is Kevin the Tech Ninja. You know what to do. Make sure you follow and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.